Now, if I was, if it was just me personally, I'd be a little tighter, smaller. If I was just smaller, I might be a little tighter. But you got to be more nimble because you wouldn't impact the market. As exactly. Well. You don't want to go into the closer the money strikes right. and shove the thing all over. Right. Right. Well, and, and what happens if you're close to the money, and, problem, and, and it really starts to move, oh, I need 20,000 of those, the price just went way up. Do I need, do, do I need 100 of them? No problem. So there's a big difference, so size-wise. That's just something you have to keep in mind. Yeah. You, you don't have to worry about the big size, but, you I know. I have a question about the, the products, and I, I know your stance on this. I just yep. want to... You, you only will take uh, non-early exercise products because Absolutely. you don't want to get blown up. I don't want, I don't want somebody to blow me up. Explain to me, if you could, what how you would get exercise that would blow you up if you're out of the money anyway. Well, um, some other people like to hold these. Th well, here's the thing. Like, like, like I, I actually had this, uh, this adjustment here, right? I'm short at 870, correct? Now, if the market drops to eight eight uh, eight sixty, and I'm holding that because I'm right in my max profit, right? right. And they exercise eight seventy, they blow me up. So as I adjust closer to the money, because you're, you don't I still have one out. short. You're blown up if you just if you close out that whole leg. Right. You're blown up because you can't take it on into expiration. Exactly. Well, well, not only that, if they exercise the eight seventy on me, I got I got to exercise my nine hundred. Right, so then I'm then I got an iron condor, on. and I, I don't believe in iron condors. Okay. Well, eight seventy is like close to what nine thirty nine forty. But I'm long at nine hundred on the put side, and, and I'm long at nine fifty on the call side. As the market approaches your shorts, when do you decide to make the adjustment? How close do you let them get to the shorts? Depends on how close we are to expiration. Depends on premium in the chain. It's it's. So you're looking at the Greeks. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. To make the home run, you got to let it get to your short. Well, to the one that doesn't hurt. Right. Not to the one that hurts. Big difference. And and see once because right here. At, at, at this uh, this uh, 8870 8, right here, this short doesn't hurt. This short hurts. It hurts bad, yes. Yeah, that's when you start giving back dollar for dollar. But yeah. but if we slap around in here, I'm really happy. And I, I found out a couple months ago what it means to sell one of these early. Oh. I was, I was doing these in one blocks, just small yeah. ones. Uh -huh. And I had one of them hit a home run, and I sold it about four hours too soon. Yeah. And cost myself about 200%. Really? Oh yeah. I sold it for four and it closed out for twelve. <laughs> and I bought it for like sixty cents. Really? Yeah. I was pretty happy with that one. I didn't get my commission. No. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. You're very well. Paid. Um, it, it, you know, for the people who haven't been here, I mean, we because we've talked about this two other times. This is really, I live and die by this strategy. I really do. I like it. Live and die, and order. and you might see a. Uh, uh, does, does everybody know ShadowTrader.net? You might see a, uh, you are most likely a 90% chance you're going to see a uh, newsletter and service on Broken Wing Butterflies that will be following the uh, SPX, RUT, and NDX. Through Shadow Trader? Yeah. You're going to do this? Yeah, I think so. Good for you. Everybody wants to know about where they can find these rules to trade this strategy. <laughs> right here. Right here. Well, he basically laid them out in that other. Uh, yeah. Look at the recording from what was that? Yeah. Where you were here? Well, hey, did, did you know you can tell them there, there, there's a webinar coming coming to you soon. How's that? Yeah. We we were recording this whole session, but since Rob used his own his own laptop for the last several ones, I could record his portion of it. So. Oh, okay. It's a conspiracy. No, no, it's not. I mean, it's uh, so. So, why did you ch choose uh, for the uh, uh, the retail? You cho chose a calendar going forward here. Calendar on what? What is the XRT? Is it short on the retail? Yeah. Because I, I I don't think people are spending money. I I don't yeah. care what they say. I, but why a calendar? I'm just 
finance strategies. It's, not typically. It, it's a case. nice, it's a nice low cost entry. And if I'm wrong, if I'm right, uh, I'm going to sell a couple months and own and own a nice put. And if I'm wrong, I have a low cost entry. I'll have a free position. I'll have a free position. I want a lotto ticket. That's and right now the VIX is very low and it's probably right. going to start trending up, which would help the calendar right. as well. And you got a, a standing order on uh, the uh, oil. Yes, I do have my standing order. Yeah, yeah. but, but I, I'm looking for a lotto ticket on the retail. So you got a book calendar on that? Yes, at the 26th level. So what's your setup for July? I, we can. I, 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 I'm, I'm searching right now. Oh, I see. For the SPX, I'm searching. Where is this? Uh, 16 Woodward. And, and, and you know what's amazing? I mean, I've been here. This is my third time. And only two people have ever called me or emailed me to ask questions. It kind of surprised me. Well, I've been close a couple times. Yeah. Only two maybe people I'll, have ever I'll, called me or emailed me. Like 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 email maybe I will. Okay, believe I, mean, me. I guess we didn't know we could. No, right. I gave out my email address. Well, I, knew, I, knew, I knew I could, but I didn't want to bug. Well, maybe maybe I, I, won't. I open up that position and look at it regularly and go, what the hell is he doing here? No, <laughs> you should call. Should send him some, but yeah, you should call. I have a question for you. I called probably a year ago, and I was told you had to have $250,000 to participate. Okay, but then I've heard from other people that that's not always necessary. That's not true. Okay. They told me to go to... Red option if you want. If you have less than that, they do the same thing. But no, it's not the same thing. But, I know but for you, it's five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not there. No, 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 no. You can, you can come. That locks me off too, sir. Right. No, I don't. We didn't have to ask. Would you give your email address or your address? Sure. It's uh, R Chastain C H A S T A I N at thinkorswim.com. So you guys know, I follow Matt's board, and I answer, I, I have gotten a few yeah, questions I've through his board, the, and I answer pretty quick, so. Yep, I've seen them. Think or swim. Spell it out. Think sure. There's lots of questions on that squeeze. Yeah, a lot of questions People on the squeeze. I have a hard time getting it installed and stuff. Yeah. What, do you uh, ever play diagonals or play diagonals? How do you feel about that? Well, I actually did it. I actually did a diagonal on the uh, yeah. UYG right. I do that. because uh, it started running. I, I mean, it had nice juice in that thing, and it started running away, and it's it it's really worked out well for us. Yes, it has. <laughs> I, I, I ro we were short the three call, and I rolled it to four, and, but we owned the three in September. So, so how do you manage those accounts? If I look on my account, I see the UYG. I see the, are you running the same basic account for several people, or yes. how do you? Yes, and in, in, in anything that you're in, I'm in. That's for sure. Yes. But you're, you manage that for 10 people or whatever. Yes, correct. When you're, you say, you, oh, just a quickie back to the future is my mind wander. You say you tape read, you use time of sales, correct? Yes. You put filters on contracts. No. Size. You let them all run. I let them all run. You want to see all the one line. I want to see them all. That's a lot of stuff flying by. Because I've tried, I've been watching them lately just for the sake of trying to get used to watch. And I've started using on the E-mini S&Ps, a 100 contract filter. And if you look at That's, just the big trades, I mean, just from what I've seen watch. Drop that down to 10. Yeah? Yeah. Boy, there's some big hitters. In there. Oh, there's some big hitters. And and when you see those big 100, hitters, 1,100, 1, 400, 500, yeah, that baby starts moving. It's man. moving. 